Hi, I'm Amy Eisenstein. Are you ready to become a master fundraiser and major gifts expert? Do you wanna feel inspired and empowered to raise significantly more money for the organization you love? If so, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Nonprofit overhead is a hot button issue among donors and the general public. Unfortunately, many people judge a nonprofit based on how much they spend on overhead. I'm not sure why or how this started, but it has been perpetuated by the mainstream media as well as certain websites that rate charities. Sadly, it's not just donors, but many nonprofit board and staff members as well subscribe to this type of thinking. But I say no more. I challenge you as a nonprofit professional to help change the conversation, to focus on effectiveness and outcomes, not on overhead. Overhead is such a ridiculous measure of a nonprofit's value and effectiveness, but it's one of the only ones used by many donors. How is it possible that smart, educated people believe that a nonprofit is more responsible or efficient simply because it spends less on staff salaries and other administrative costs? Does that mean that a nonprofit is great if it only has 10% overhead, but is totally ineffective? What about a nonprofit which has outstanding results and outcomes, but spends 50% on operations? If you haven't read the book, A Path Appears by Nick Kristoff and Cheryl Wu Dunn, I highly recommend it. They make a great argument for this type of thinking in their book. Consider it another way. Investors in for-profit companies would never judge an organization for spending money on research and development or for paying high salaries to their employees to have the best staff available. For some reason, most of the nonprofit sector expects to pay their staff peanuts and then have them be the best in the field and work 60 hours a week. It's ridiculous. And then, when a nonprofit CEO is highly paid, they are often criticized for it. It's hypocritical because donors expect nonprofits to be responsible with their donations, as they should, and have programs with stellar outcomes. But how can a nonprofit attract the best employees if you can't pay them what they're worth? I recently read a blog post titled something like, You Can't Change the World Sitting on Broken Chairs, which is such a fantastic analogy because donors expect us to be responsible with their money and achieve great results on pennies. These donors would never work in the conditions many nonprofit staff members work in with hand-me-down furniture and 10-year-old computers. It's up to you to have this conversation with your board members and donors. It's up to you to change the conversation about the way nonprofits are measured and kill the idea of overhead as a responsible way of measuring a charity's effectiveness. Start with your board at your next board meeting. Have a discussion about why it's important to have the best staff members and good working conditions. Next, communicate with your donors. Send them emails and write articles in your newsletter about how you want them to measure your effectiveness. Finally, write letters to the editor. It's up to us to change the conversation and educate our donors and the general public. Then, and only then, maybe we'll start to see the real change in this world that every donor and nonprofit organization strives for. Now it's your turn to share. Did this video inspire you to try something new? 
Do you have a related story to share? Do you agree or disagree with today's advice? Join the discussion and help others by leaving a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and followers. Finally, if you want to learn even more ways to supercharge your fundraising, visit my website, amyeisenstein.com and sign up to get weekly fundraising advice and more videos just like this one. That's the end for today, but I hope you're feeling inspired and empowered. Thanks so much for doing your part to make the world a better place. I'm Amy Eisenstein. See you next time.